What's up Aquarius? This is going to be a love forecast for the first two weeks of February. Happy birthday to my Aquarius suns. This is for my Aquarius sun, moon, rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like, throw me a comment, share. Um, it really helps out my channel. And if you are new here, I do put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also do offer personal readings. All the info for that's in the description box of the video. Um, there is a bit of a wait for a reading with me. So if you would like to explore your options, I have put a link to Mystic Sense in the description box as well, which is a great company that will offer you access to lots of great psychics and readers located all over the world. And if you go through the link I've provided, they're going to give you your first five minute reading free. So check them out if you feel called to do so. And otherwise, if you want to follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I put the links to those in the description box as well. So let's get stuck into it. Aquarius, the person on your mind, I'm going to do a person on your mind, how they feel about you, then how do you feel about them and the projected outcomes for the, sec the first half of February Bearing in mind that outcomes can, will do shift depending on your actions, your reactions, your inactions, your assumptions, your energy, your self-concept, all of that. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then please do go and look into the law of assumption. Um, everything is a manifestation of where you're at. And, you know, this is a reading of one current timeline um, and a version of a connection. So there are infinite versions of connections and infinite outcomes. Um, so if anything unfavorable is showing up, please do look into the law and you can absolutely shift um, and change things. Okay, the outside will conform for you. Okay. All right, guys. So um, the person on Aquarius's mind, how, does, how do they feel about Aquarius, please? The person on Aquarius's mind, how do they feel about Aquarius? Okay, Ace of Cups, Aquarius, Empress card, King of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so there's some kind of a wanting of a new start. Um, they want to nurture the connection. This could be a situation involving um, a mother um, or children or something like that or wanting that. But we've got a King of Pentacles in the reverse. We've got a world and we've got a Five of Pentacles. They want to close out an old cycle where there's been disconnect or loss here. Five of Pentacles. Now, King of Pentacles in the reverse. There could be some questions around loyalty, Aquarius, okay, with that King of Pentacles in the reverse. But they want to have a new start. Um, let me have a look at this King of Pentacles in the reverse. There also could be financial issues at play here for some of you um, with that Five of Pentacles in reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse. So there could be a wanting to have accomplishment with you, but there's been issues in that department. The Moon card here. Um, so there's definitely been a sense of lack of clarity playing into this. Um, also, the Moon is shadow stuff. So some of this disconnect or feeling left out in the cold could be coming from um, a fear aspect you know, maybe there's been some pullback or some avoidance or something like that, but they want to repair it, I think. Let me look at the Empress card, the Sun card in the reverse, lack of clarity here. Because when I get the Moon to the Sun, it's usually things are revealed, things are clarified, but it's like things are still not clear. So something's been very murky. There could be questions around loyalty for some of you, not all of you. I said that it could be a financial component, or for some of you, there's distrust, like there's a feeling of secrecy or not everything is revealed and it's like they want to reveal things or they want things to come to light but it's still there's a lack of transparency that can also just be by holding back on one another guys it doesn't always have to be like some big dramatic thing um but there can also be fears that are provoked by that like trust issues um and the sun card here in the reverse means there's, it's led to a lack of joy Okay, but the Ace of Cups means that I think they want to have a new start. So tell me about the Sun card in the reverse, the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, they could be hoping that you're going to make a, a gesture or offer some clarity or, um, you know, offer this new beginning. Maybe you haven't. Maybe that's led to a lack of joy. Um, but the Page of Swords, they, they're watching and analyzing you and the situation, Aquarius. Um, maybe they sense that you're keeping an eye on them as well. Um, but there just seems to be this lack of, lack of, um, clarity, maybe lack of clarity on whether this can be nurtured, whether you can, because the Empress card is wanting to nurture and it's about expansion, but you know, King of Pentacles in the reverse is not so dedicated, loyal, committed. And now again, guys, 
It could be because there's a feeling here, five of pentacles, king of pentacles, there's been financial issues, and then that's causing a wall or a block or a fear. Um, or it could be, like I said, actually that someone's not being honest or loyal. And I will get the oracle cards. Um, or there could be fear around stability, like not being stable enough, or fear around finances, and that causes a wall or a block. The world card is accomplishment, closing out an old cycle. There also could be something to do with distance or travel involved here. But the Knight of Pentacles, yeah, and the Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups. Trust issues, okay? Now, not always are they founded. The Seven of Swords can also be avoidance. And Knight of Pentacles is about this slow and steady move towards goals. So maybe this is, if you're in some kind of a commitment or working towards a commitment, it could be that things are moving very slowly because there are financial issues or someone has um, a lot of fears in that department or blocks. Maybe there's a fear of inadequacy there, you know, um, and that could lead to four of cups, that could lead to um, disappointment or a feeling of emotional rejection if that's causing a wall or a block. Or otherwise, you know, you still, this person feels like things are still moving forward, but there's something with the seven of swords and the four of cups that's causing trust issues. And that seven of swords can be sneaky behavior in the most extreme case, but it also can just be, like I said, avoidance, like not opening up. Um, which then causes trust issues, which then leads to lack of joy or lack of intimacy. Do you know what I'm getting, guys? I mean, the moon card is how we've been nurtured. Now, this is how they're feeling about you, or they could be aware that this is something that happens with them, or maybe both of you, okay? So I don't want to play blame games, but there's something here that's causing a block and a lack of clarity and a lack of openness between the two of you. Um, so what's this Seven of Swords all about? The Justice card is in the reverse. So um, something feels out of balance or unfair. Now, for some of you, legal matters are in the mix or marriage or divorce is in the mix. Okay. Um, and so it's possible if you are in a commitment, this is what's coming up as a potential or you're dealing with a situation where that's what needs to take place and there's a lot of this stuff to do with financials and um, maybe there's a lot of fears in moving ahead and nurturing the situation because of loss or suspicion due to things that have happened okay um, yeah there's a sense of like things are not feeling very balanced but um, also a lot of fears okay now king of pentacles in the reverse um, so someone doesn't feel maybe ready to properly commit or invest in the situation for all the reasons that I already explained. Um, I've got page of cups here, ace of pentacles, but also seeing opportunity to have a new start and commit. So it's very, I said they wanna close out the old cycle and I have two aces on the table. So maybe there is this, you know, this person wants to come in and make an offer or they're hoping you're gonna come in and make an offer and stabilize things. Now for some of you, like I said, children are in the mix, page of cups and there's a empress card here. So this is like the wife, the mother, okay? Um, and then we've got king of swords here. So king of swords is truth, honesty, wanting to clarify things, wanting to have a conversation. Um, and then there's something here about two of pentacles back and forth financial aspects at play. Um, it's also about getting clear. For some of you, if there is another person in the mix, this is, and that's the portion, small portion of you where there's issues to do with commitment and loyalty, this is about getting clear and wanting to cut that away or hoping that you do or hoping that they do, you know, or them intending to do that in order to move forward with you. Um, this is air sign energy. I mean, you could be dealing with another air sign or this could be you, thinking about how to eliminate this back and forth and having a conversation about it, or they're hoping that you want to do that. Okay. Oh, Aquarius is an intense read. Um, yeah, but the King of Swords is, is, is honesty. So I did say that a lot seems to be covered up or not revealed or holding back. And King of Swords can be a little bit, you know, in the head and not enough in the heart and not necessarily, um, as maybe emotionally open, not as a rule, but it's kind of like the King of Swords can be a bit detached. And so maybe that also causes this block. I mean, for some of you, that's just due to like financial aspects. Like there's a lot of concerns here maybe around juggling finances, work-life balance, 
priorities, etc., and that's causing the wall or the block. So for not all of you, there's third party divorce, all that stuff. I'm just reading like the you know the different the different storylines here, but they seem to want to have like a new start with you. Um, yeah. There's a seven of pentacles here. So they've built a groundwork with you and I think that they're still invested, okay? And they still wanna work off that. And then the judgment card would be a revival. So there's something about coming out of the cold, this cold energy, um, but also like a decision maybe needing to be made. Scorpio energy. We've got Taurus Libra, strong Libra with the justice card, Pisces with the moon, okay. Let's take a look at you, um, Aquarius, and how you are feeling about them as we move through the first half of February. Ooh, Nine of Cups. Pleasure, but then Nine of Swords. Stress. Stress, conflict, tension, Five of Swords around burdens. Maybe Nine of Cups, maybe you feel like someone's selfish or overindulgent. Seven of Swords, trust issues. You know, Five of Swords can also be like, are we on the same page? Are we speaking the same language? Um, so how does Aquarius feel about this person now as we move into the first two weeks of February? Okay, the star card, that's your energy, Aquarius. So you still have hope for this. You see this person as a wish. Okay, if it's not for you and you don't, then it's not for you. But this is what I'm getting. The chariot card's in the reverse. There could be a stop or a block. It could be due to distance for some of you. The chariot card, maybe there's been travel or distance or something, um, you know, or you live in different places. Um, but this is also the energy of you don't know. Is it moving forward? Can it move forward? Four of Wands. Four of Wands. So this would be about reunion energy. It's also about marriage and commitment. And so... Maybe you're hoping for that, but you're not sure if it can move forward in that way. I mean, the magician card, you're manifesting it, Aquarius, but then we've got the devil card in the reverse. You're manifesting it, but you're also feeling like there's toxic stuff that has to be released um, or, you know, stuff that's keeping this connection stuck. Now, the devil card, you know, there's something that's definitely led to a distance or a disconnect between you and this person. And the devil card can just be fear, okay? It can be toxic patterns, um, and behaviors and but it's really what limits us now you could feel like I said that this person is very closed off or that could be you Aquarius like you want to manifest this but at the same time maybe there's an element of having to release some limiting beliefs patterns behaviors um, in order to move ahead or there could be some fears around commitment or fears around stability like four of wands is about stability and building a home etc um, and so maybe there's an awareness that that's causing the block um, you know chariot card is just it's not moving forward maybe in the direction that you had hoped um, let's see about that devil card uh, there could be a lot of desire and attraction between the two of you so Capricorn energy and the magician card is Virgo Gemini and we've got lovers card Gemini and page of pentacles you are seeing opportunity here in a strong connection um, so much desire here, but also maybe obsessive energy. So there could be some of that playing into it or like negative obsessions. Do you get what I mean, um, Aquarius? Like sometimes it can be like maybe someone is completely obsessed with money. Aquarius, king of pentacles in the reverse. It can be over-focused on the material and it causes a block or a wall in the connection or there's the fears around that. Um, or there's, you know, this could be a workaholic situation. <laughs> Um, or it could be, you know, fear of commitment, because I said that's the other storyline, like King of Pentacles and the rest can be like not, you know, um, not committed. Um, or there's questions around loyalty here. I mean, I just, I didn't get like third party energy. I just got like seven of swords, like trust issues. And I think that's coming up from like someone not opening up, not revealing their true feelings or being over-focused on something else like work or career or just being blocked emotionally. And then that provokes like suspicion or something like that. As I said, Seven of Cups, there's like mixed feelings and confusion here. Um, I mean, for some of you, Aquarius, Seven of Swords. Yeah, exactly what I just said. There's trust issues around whether there's other cups around. I mean, for some of you, Aquarius, maybe you are, maybe you're exploring other options. I didn't pick up on this side that there was really like 
there's no other energies. Maybe, you know, this person, they have some fears about being like ready or stable or they feel like that's you, but I wasn't really getting that. I mean, there's definitely trust issues and lack of clarity here. Um, Aquarius, I don't know, seven of swords, seven of cups. Maybe you're wondering, would this be the right choice? That's the other thing. I'll get some Oracle cards to understand a bit better. I mean, devil card can be temptation. Um, maybe you feel like this person is tempted outside or maybe you're tempted outside. I don't know. I'm not judging, but um, it's just that there's confusion here. But seven of cups, you know, it's like choices, options. It can also be just that element of feeling not completely chosen. And that could be because that's a wound and someone's not opening up. And so there's that kind of reaction like you're not choosing me because you're not being open and then feeling like someone's not present anyway guys I, I know that I'm getting a bit like Freud and all of that but we have to look at you know the energy and sometimes you know we make assumptions about things coming from fears and our limiting beliefs and so that's what the outside then is like triggering and and confirming if we have a story right so there's something here with a lot of fears and confusion and mixed signals um confused emotions anyway so you know you, I, I don't know there's trust issues here anyhow or avoidance or avoiding an issue or avoiding getting clear on things yeah there's a queen of wands and a six of cups now for some of you there's an issue here i don't think there's cheating but the six of cups and the queen of wands can be a little bit of trust issues there could be an x in the mix here that's causing um issues Okay, because the Six of Cups can be past people, like toxic, um, toxic energy, because Queen of Wands sometimes is my other person, right? Woman, it's not gender specific, it's a queen, but there can be stuff from the past or, or maybe an ex or another energy that's around. This could also be unhealthy friends, Six of Cups and the Queen of Wands that is causing um, a rift here or trust issues. Okay. There is a devil element here. So there could be something toxic playing into this, or it could just be um, negativity and maybe negative energies, right? But there's an eight of pentacles. Could also be someone in the workplace, eight of pentacles and the queen of wands. Sorry, guys. Anyway, I, I know I'm jumping around, but this is also an, an energy of like you still thinking, maybe you're also wanting to focus on your career and your work. And um, so you're a bit confused about this and you're not sure. But I don't know. I mean, Aquarius, it looks like seven of swords, seven of swords. There seems to be just on both sides, um, mistrust and maybe avoiding, um, avoiding having, you know, a clarity around maybe the direction. I mean, Ace of Cups, this person seems to want to have a new start with you. Okay. How do you feel about them? Six of Cups could also be, you know, you want to reconcile with them, like the issues. Let me have a look, Aquarius, at this love oracle. What's going on? Yeah, disappear, silence, ignored, rejected. So it said ghosted. I mean, for some of you, that's that's happened because the five of pentacles is a cold energy. This person wants to come out of the cold. But if it's not ghosting, ghosting, it's that it's that feeling of rejection and feeling of being ignored. And I did say that that's kind of what is going on here. Like someone could be feeling that way, like not prioritized, not chosen, rejected. And then I've got social media spying. Well, the Page of Swords came out here. So even if there has been silence, there's an element of watching each other. And then I have addiction. It says toxic attachment, drugs, alcohol, obsession. So if it's not drugs and alcohol, guys, which I think would be a small, very, very small portion of you, this is like toxic attachment or toxic um, patterns. And so I think maybe there's a little bit of this obsession or obsessive negativity um or there's old toxic attachments like i said you know there could be past energy and that's causing distrust and trust issues in, in the current situation um mystery because there's just a lot of this like things that just feel a mystery illusion unknown enigma someone's not opening up properly maybe due to fear or um negativity or like old stuff like seven of swords is avoidance so Someone could be avoidant. The other person could be very like anxious. Um, I don't like to give labels, even though it's a real thing, right? Because it's like a ping pong effect. But when you have that, so you can shift that because you can create a new version of you 
and manifest a new version of a person where that's not the issue. So look into the law of assumption if you wanted to put the work into that. Um, but that is what might be happening. Someone feels left out in the cold or rejected um, and that activates their anxiety. The other person you know, gets a bit avoided, doesn't want to deal with it. Then there's trust issues. You know what I mean? Okay. Magnetic attraction though. <laughs> Alluring lust irresistible. And that's that devil card. So there's a lot of attraction here. Wedding, marriage, forever, the one, union. Okay. So for some of you, you know, this is what is the potential right there has been maybe issues around that around commitment but you've got four of wands here the king of pentacles in the reverse is like you know maybe that fear of stability um or feeling unready but then ace of cups and the Empress card it seems like there's a wanting to nurture this let's have a look yeah see i told you guys i can't make it up finances money problems work material things success so that's a big factor here is like not feeling ready feeling inadequate material issues or over prioritizing material or just being like workaholic or focused on work um, and that might be also a bit of an avoidance thing right so it's a distraction or something like that but i feel like that's playing into it or there's finances due to like a past um, relationship or commitment because the justice card, you know, there could be an element of things that went wrong in the past and money issues. Ex-lover, as I said that, ex-lover. So the past memories. Yeah, and I did say to you, that could be um, partly what is going on here um, that is causing all this fear and anxiety around moving forward. Someone could have lost a lot of money in a past situation or the ex-lover could still be hanging around and there's money ties. Um, or there's the ex-lover still around, but also the reason for the lack of um, commitment is obsession to do with the finances. Or you are developing a commitment with a person, but there's a block here because there's a fear when it comes to, you know, there's a lot of money problems. So maybe that's causing, you know, um, a block, right? like an emotional, there's a wall, you know, or um, something that's blocking the intimacy. Okay, one more or two more. But then I've got proposal, love offer, engagement, agreement, wish come true, right? And then regret, mistake, apology. So yeah, something has come up between the two of you that's caused trust issues, okay? Whether that's like actual dishonesty, um, and there's regret there for some of you or for others of you, you know, there could be this kind of element of apologizing and reconciling because I've got reconciliation here, reconciling, um, you know, just this, these patterns, okay? The world card, closing out an old cycle, um, you know, maybe wanting to put effort into this situation or maybe there has been someone in the mix like an ex that's been meddling or some toxic people or something so they want to you know they want to work on that they want to reconcile that reunion second chance back together i miss you because there was mask so there's a lot of this wearing a mask you could both be a little bit that way seven of swords seven of swords because if there's trust issues and fears and anxieties it could be ping-ponging back and forth again i'm not taking sides guys um, i'm just explaining the mechanics sometimes of energy how that works so anyway Aquarius, that's my reading for you. This person wants to reconcile. Um, it seems to me that they want to commit to you, all right, or recommit to you. Um, and there's been money issues and there's some regrets around something to do with what's caused a block or trust issues. All right, Aquarius, okay. That's it. That's all I have for you. And I hope for some of you that that did resonate. <laughs> and um, if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I will check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.